So at this point, I'd like to show you one of the deck drains that we've installed on the starboard side here. Now, this is very similar to the original type of deck drain made of a lead pipe. The originals were made of 16th inch material. This particular drain that you're looking at here is made out of 3 16ths of an inch material. It's actually a four and a half inch outside diameter lead pipe that's been reshaped to go into this hole. Right, and this hole is, is uh, as it was sawn into the boat with a hole saw, it's uh, actually 90 degrees to the side of the boat rather than the deck. The deck is level, the side of the boat is on an angle, and this deck drain is punched through here 90 degrees to the side of the boat. It's done with a two, and a, a two inch hole saw hole here, a two inch hole saw hole over here, and then connected up in between and uh, it's backed up on the inside with a piece of plastic that extends between the two plastic frames in that area so that no matter what you do you can't poke a hole down through here and, uh, and allow water to get down through there so it's backed up with plastic it limbers uh, on each side of the drain so that you can't get an accumulation of water on top of it held in, in, in there it'll drain down on both sides now I'm going to show you the piece of lead pipe that we made it out of. It is quite a substantial piece of lead. Now, lead is pretty soft, but that is so thick that when you're bending it, you really have to have your stuff together bending that into position. There's quite a bit of forming and hammering, and it actually has to fold over past the recess that you're trying to get it into and then be cut off afterwards and pushed in there. It's quite a process, really is. I can see why people have gotten away from it, although I can't come up with another type of deck drain that does the job quite as well as this deck drain. This is what the fisherman wanted. This is similar shape to the drains he had in the boat previous, and that's exactly what he wanted. So I've accommodated him, and I've taught myself how to do this basically on this job right here. I have done some narrower, or thinner material previous, but this is the first time I've worked with a lead pipe of this thickness. And you can see that we've laid the deck into position here. The decking on top of the deck timbers, it's uh, in there on a temporary basis. There's a few things we need to do to it yet. We're going to uh, take and open up some of the butt seams so that we can get some caulking in it yet and position some of them a little bit differently. And uh, I'd like to show you what it's made out of. It's a, it's a two by six, uh, which ends up actually an inch and a half thick by five and a half inches uh, in its uh, quartered or edge grain Douglas fir. And what we did to start with was we placed it on the deck square edge and crowded it up as tight as we could. And then what I did was I took a reefing hook like this right here. And uh, it's, this is designed basically for removing cotton caulking, but you can also use it to adjust the size of the seams. So what I did was I raked down in between there like that and scooped a little bit of material out so that I would know that they were touching on the back side perfectly tight, but I allowed myself to have a little bit of a, uh, um, a space on this side here. So once a, then once it was all placed like that and I had a little bit of a, a seam like that, what I did was I picked the decken up. And what I do with the decken is I place it on top of another piece of decken like that, right here in position, right in position. Well, I didn't take it into a shop or do anything. Then I went and put a little line on it around there like that to open it up a little bit. And then I've taken a block plane like this and I'm gonna place it on here and skid it along this decking down here on its bow end. And it can't take that backside, you see. So what this does now, I, I'm gonna plane it until my little pencil line is gone. And now I'm going to take and reverse this piece over here. And I'm going to do the same thing to this piece. I can relieve this one a little bit like this, because I know that that was the way they matched up previous. So we'll do the same thing here. Now that's the way all of the seams on the deck were addressed right there, right in position. I would remove one piece, put it on top of the other, adjust the seam, and put it away. 
Then I'd remove the next piece, adjust the seam, and put it away. And then once I put them back down in here, you get a seam that's pretty much opened up like that now. Perfectly tight down here, seam up top for caulking. I've uh, installed the last little bits of decking uh, just ahead of this little aluminum hatch here. The rest of the deck's already been accomplished and uh, it's been uh, caulked with cotton and seam compounded and sanded out and there's a couple stains on it here and stuff but this this area right here has not been surfaced yet and uh, so we're going to pick up an electric plane and knock it down with electric plane because the boards are just the littlest bit cupped or uneven very very slightly but uh, rather than try to sand that flat we're just going to plane it with electric plane and then I'll pick up the sander and just dress it out and I think it'll look a lot better. So I've just touched it up with an electric plane and uh, you know, there's some of the boards as you could see, I was just touching the seams with the planer and not out in the middle of the board. So they had a little bit of cupping to them. So I wanted to take care of that with the planer first. Now I'm gonna pick up a sander. Now this is a quite a heavy rotary sander with a pretty hard disc on it and uh, it's running 60 grit paper. So now we're just gonna clean it up and you'll see all the definition come alongside the, uh, the seams here because some of the seam compound is actually out on top of the plank and so the seams will start looking a little bit narrower as I sand it. So I'd like to show you what I used for uh, seam compound in the deck here. This is uh, Teak Decking Systems SIS 440 Teak Deck Caulking. And it says on the tube here that it cures rapidly, adheres permanently, and remains flexible. And I'm here to tell you that that is the case. This is the best uh, seam compound I've ever used, and uh, it was pretty simple to use. We had the cotton down in there about a half an inch, and we squirted this in there with a caulking gun. And uh, I struck it one time quickly with a, with a putty knife like this. And then once that was done, while it was still wet, we stripped the tape off, and then you can see it in another shot where it protruded up a little bit and then we've come along and planed it and sanded it down nice and smooth and uh, it's in there permanent. All right, I'd just like to explain to you how it is that I uh, uh, came upon this job. I mean, I've been working on this boat over the years for them. I've done some work on the gunnels and did a number of other things and stopped some leaks and uh, uh, quite a few things. But um, as he used the boat, this boat gets a severe use and uh, the, uh, the deck clamp that holds the deck timbers started coming loose from the framing and the framing was kind of getting bad and just about to start breaking up so you know this this thing gets such use and earns money that uh, it was just time to pull this all apart and, and we've done that and so you can see you can see on the videos that i put 40 plastic flame frames on this side and uh, i put 13 planks in it and I've cut out all the butt blocks in this whole area that I've worked so there's no longer any butt blocks or anything to hang up, you know, in the bilge. And uh, I've repositioned the fuel tank and I've put these lead drains in, like I said, and I put a nice substantial ceiling in here that's cotton caulked and seam compounded so it's nice and tight. And I had explained that I had glued the covering board off to the first piece of ceiling so that corner doesn't get caulked. And uh, I think that's a great system, and I think you'll find that uh, over the years that's going to prove out to be a real, real good thing. And uh, we've put quarter sawn fur decking on it, and uh, caulked it with cotton, and put uh, seam compound in it, rubberized seam compound, and that's been complete. And all there is left is some painting up, and a couple little uh, things. I'm going to actually put some plastic molding that I designed around these holes here because. Uh, we don't want this, this raw edge to be here, so I designed that, and that's going to go on. But it's pretty much complete, and uh, I'm happy to have the work. And like I say, we're going to move on to the next project.